The history of coffee is a fascinating story. The bean has traveled the globe for centuries, being smuggled out of strict countries, stolen from royalty and has changed entire nations and economies. It's remarkable how one small bean taken from tiny trees in Ethiopia could become the second largest commodity traded in the world today. Latte art developed independently in different countries, following the introduction of espresso and the development of microfoam, the combination of crema, which is an emulsion of coffee oil and brewed coffee, and microfoam allowing the pattern, it presumably was initially developed in Italy. In the United States, latte art developed in Seattle in the 1980s and 1990s, and particularly popularized by David Schomer. Schomer credits the development of microfoam, velvet foam, or milk texturing, to Jack Kelly of Uptown Espresso in 1986, and by 1989 the heart pattern was established in a signature at Schomer's Espresso Vivace. The rosette pattern was then developed by Schomer in 1992, recreating the technique based on a photograph he saw from Café Matecchi in Italy. Schomer subsequently popularized latte art in his course, Café Latte Art. At the same time Luigi Lupi from Italy met Schomer on the internet and they exchanged videos they made on Lattert and Cappuccini Decorati. Luigi Lupi involved and growth up this art and invented the tulip in Salonico during an exhibition in the Musetti booth. 2004 latte art requires first producing espresso with crema and microfoam, and then combining these to make latte art. See microfoam. Procedure for how microfoam is made. This article concentrates on the latte art once the foam is made. Before the milk is added, the espresso shot must have a creamy brown surface, an emulsion known as crema. As the white foam from the milk rises to meet the red-brown surface of the shot, a contrast is created and the design emerges. As the milk is poured, the foam separates from the liquid and rises to the top. If the milk and espresso shot are just right, and the pitcher is moved during the pour, the foam will rise to create a pattern on the surface. Alternatively, a pattern may be etched with a stick after the milk has been poured, rather than during the pour. Some controversy exists within the coffee community as to whether or not there is excessive focus on latte art amongst baristas. The argument is that too much focus on the superficial appearance of a drink leads some to ignore more important issues, such as taste. This is especially relevant with new baristas.